I can't share everything, not because it's a secret, but because it's coming together right now. Uh, we're literally co-creating this partnership. It started with uh, one of our stations had a request, uh, and we, we started a dialogue. And what we found, which I think is very interesting, is Wikipedia really considers itself digital public media. It's content that's created by users, and there's a universe of about 30,000 editors who are actually going through that information and making sure that it's correct. Well, if you look at our set of information that we have in video form, we have all these different pieces that uh, could be so helpful to the world, right? So a good example of this is we have a public affairs program called Frontline and another one called Nova. And both of these programs did a very in-depth analysis on the Ebola virus. And when Ebola started to break out, uh, our Center for Disease Control realized that there were no training materials for frontline workers who were dealing with Ebola. So they actually ordered in mass several DVDs of our programming mm -hmm. about Ebola to train the people who were actually uh, working with uh, folks in troubled areas. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, the information that we have as a media company, if that can be accessed in many different ways, how much more powerful would that database uh, be, right? Public media has always been kind of our nation's classroom. It's been our nation's public stage. Um, it's given access to theater and culture, and um, many people have been able to watch a professional Broadway show because it's, it's on public media for the first time. Uh, or a professional concert, if we can bring the information behind that and make sure that that is in Wikipedia and at the same time engage communities, uh, imagine how content and community can come together. Just recently, our, um, uh, you know, many of our stations are both television and radio, so we have this partnership with National Public Radio. Um, uh, just recently, National Public Radio did a edit-a-thon where they brought several different folks together from the from a community, from the African American community actually, and they started to look through Wikipedia to see where there are gaps of information around civil rights, which is what gave many people the rights to vote uh, many decades ago in the US. But because there are gaps of information, engaging people to actually make sure that information is shared in this medium becomes a very powerful tool. And if we can do that with many of our stations and the communities they represent, it would only make that body of information that much stronger. These are the kind of partnerships we're looking at, especially because one could argue just six or seven years ago, there was no iPhone. Most of the world was still using MySpace. It was a completely different media landscape. What does the world look like in five, six, seven years from now? Well, chances are, there's a lot less difference between how Wikipedia is moving information, how National Public Radio is moving information, and how Public Broadcast Service is moving information. And so if we don't start looking at that uh, in a meaningful way, we can't really achieve our mission.